Hey, Team Forever 20, what's what's good? What's good, Team Forever 20? I hope you're all doing good. I'm also doing great. Yes, so the queen is the queen of Tyre is at it again. So, guys, welcome to today's video. Yeah, because we're going to do another tire, we're going to do another video of recycling a tire to a very beautiful, beautiful piece of seat. Yes, so welcome to this video and enjoy watching this video. Remember to do three things only like subscribe and leave us a sweet comment therefore i think and also share to your family and friends yeah so and if you're new here welcome and welcome to this channel remember to subscribe like and share as well so let's get started without wasting your time okay guys we have we have some few pieces first we have our tire here this is the tire it's very strong this tire is very strong very strong yes yeah. so this tire measures the top part it measures 24 inches and we have uh, two circles two wood circles which measures 24 inches as well which is two feet you see and so we have another piece over here this one here which also measures the same and we have this smaller piece which measures 21 inches okay so this is 21 and this is 24 two feet you see how small it is yeah that's how it looks and we have these pieces over here which you can see them which measures we're measuring the height the height is three they're all three inches these ones and these ones here measures two feet this is our our back pieces cut into this shape you see the shape we didn't want to have a straight kind of thing yeah that's why i decided them to be cut in that way yeah so we are going to start with these two pieces first before going to the rest so we are going to take these pieces and put them all around together so first we'll start by uh, I'm going to use nails because I feel like nails they're so easy and so fast to work on them than screws. Let me put this aside. You can decide to use screws or uh, nails. I'm using these ones because I feel they're kind of fast and uh, also they're quite affordable compared to the screws. So guys, I have these, these are, they are kind of plywood, but they can fold, you see, and I have cut them the same size as the pieces which I had here, three inches, so I'm going to cover this part here because uh, I want it to be smooth, so I'll be putting it this way, and uh, 
kneading it down all through. So guys, this is done. You're done with this and you're going to place it on top here and screw it on this tie. These are the screws which I'm going to use. There are two inch screws. And I'm going to use my drill gun. So guys, uh, now we are done with this piece, but uh, before I continue, sometimes I get ideas from what I make because right now we are making a seat uh, and this is the, these are the steps as you can see, but uh, I've gotten an idea of making a table uh, using these steps. Do you want to see that? If you want to see that, let me know in the comment section, okay? I'll make you an amazing, amazing, uh, I'll give you an amazing idea of a coffee table. So since this we are going to screw it from here, it's not going down here. I'm going to screw it from here. I'm going to mark where it's going to start. Yeah, this is where it's going to start from here. And uh, I'm going to use my two inch foam, this two inch foam, to cover the, the remaining part. Okay, now you understand that. So, just like this. Start from here. So, I'm going to cover it this way and I think I'm going to use my staples because um contact glue it will be it will take time and it also should be hard to cover this with with contact glue over here so I think the only thing is uh the only the best thing to use are the staple pins staple gun and staple pins so here they are I'm trying to make sure that I get this curve shape over here. It's so hard, but uh, you just keep on trimming so that you can get whatever you want. Or if this will be so hard for you to get uh, this curve, you can just go ahead and make it straight. It doesn't have any difference. And uh, back here, the mess you see here, I'm, I'll be putting some fiber to make it um, look good when it fits. Yeah, so that's how it will look. You see? That's how it will look. 
yeah so i'm going to cover the rest and um after that i'll be coming to you guys we cut the material because i want to stitch them piece by piece yeah i want to stitch them piece by piece then we'll come fix them with you guys okay so let me uh, do do the rest like covering every piece of the wood with this two inch foam then come back to you guys okay yeah, so guys i'm done uh, doing all this so what i want to do next let me put them here yeah so i'm done doing this what i was doing so next step is i want to cut my fabric and i'm going to use a black color a black fabric yeah I noticed that I haven't used black in any in any other yeah I don't know if I have ever used black but I've just decided to use black this time round because we are going to have a touch of gold so I felt that black and gold will look good together all right guys black and gold looks good together Sides, let me move this so that I can get to see. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, reduce it to the size to this size from here up to here because I want to get this curve. But you see, the, the, the cushion is the cushion is like a icon, not curve. So I want to cut the fabric into this shape. So from here, from there up to here is 20, 20 inches, and also this one here is 20. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to to add uh, to put this curve here on this side and also on this side. Because I'll be going to stitch this, that's why I'm cutting it over here like this. So I'll be joining this big part up to here and also this part up to here. So I'm going to cut um, seven pieces. Because we have seven pieces of this, I'm going to cut seven pieces of this, okay? So guys, uh, I'm done stitching all the pieces up here. Yeah, they are ready. And uh, yeah, let's put them here together. I think that's supposed to be in our next step. So, and this, that's how it looks. I think it looks good. We have enough fabric here for the back, so I'll be putting some fibers here. Let me put straight there.
I'm going to add a, a piece of foam in here for the front because we're not going to have those pieces at the front and I'm using contact glue. I need to come this side because uh, I noticed that this one is black and also this fabric is black so you can't see much of what I'm doing but uh, I've turned to this part which is kind of whitish and uh, right here as you can see I've added I have hand, hand stitched this piece here because of this part the wood was thin and I didn't know how to finish that and I also stapled here so I'm going to add the fiber just the way I did here at the back then staple it down there so I'll be doing that to all the pieces and this piece is strong by the way it's very strong like how many almost eight eight screws I'll use like eight screws to screw that.
so guys i've decided to bring you back to this black wall because um i noticed that on that side there is no direct sunlight uh there is no direct light and you don't want to use the ring light so this is the place where the light is uh, good because i'm just direct opposite the window but okay let's continue so guys right here i have a little uh, i don't know what to do because um I'm thinking on how these two pieces are going to attach to each other or they're going to be together because when you put some fiber let me let me see okay I can decide to to put the fiber staple down here then after I'm done I'll be stitching this these two like from here to here I'll be stitching them all together I guess that's the best the best way to work with it so that I can move very fast then finish this today by the way guys this is the first project I'm doing and I can see that I can finish it uh, within one day like I'll finish today because I think it's so easy or because the steps are so easy to follow I don't know but I'll finish it right now. You see? So I'll just be stitching here. I hand stitch these two going that way.
so guys uh we have come to the end of this video and i'm so much excited how about you how does this seat look did you enjoy the process of making this are you going to try this if yes can you let me know in the comment section this was this was so easy making this was so easy i guess because i have mastered the other steps or i know what to work with when it comes to tires right now and um i actually made this with one day only a day less than 24 24 less than 12 hours yeah so if if you can make this but if you want to make this, go ahead and do that because it's so easy and so interesting to make. Okay? Yeah, without wasting your time, uh, we're talking too much. Kindly remember to like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. Join this amazing family and you'll never get bored because we drop bang after bang. Idea after idea, yes. And um, remember to share to your family and friends. And also leave a sweet comment down below because I'll be replying to all your comments okay guys yeah so just watch to the end and remember to show your girls some love by doing any of those when you do one of those you have shown me some love and i appreciate so much this seat is so comfy so comfortable by the way as you see i like i like the the choice of color which we went with it's so cool and the back is very strong guys this back i've used more than eight to ten screws in each piece and it's it's very comfy and very strong that's all if you want to see more of tire uh recycling tire ideas can you let me know in the comment section as well yes and um you can appreciate me as well with the thanks section over there okay so see you in the next one bye guys i love you